A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 30th March, on the front page you have increase in VVPAT numbers will delay counting by six days. Election Commission. So this was a petition which was filed before the Supreme Court by 21 opposition parties that at least 50% of VVPAT verifications should take place in each assembly segment. So the, the Election Commission has now said that if this demand you know, to increase the counting to 50% becomes a reality, then the results would be delayed by six whole days. This is what it has submitted before the Supreme Court. And the Elections Commission said that adoption of a particular percentage as a sample of VVPAT slip verification was devoid of scientific logic or statistical basis. You know, 50% is being stated without any uh, statistical basis is what they say. Then next is MPs reject Brexit deal for third time. So British MPs rejected Prime Minister Theresa May's uh, EU exit deal that is Brexit deal for third time. So now there will be a long delay to Brexit. So or they may, there may be no deal withdrawal to in two weeks if no deal comes up before that. So that is the concern now because uh, even there is a deadline to Brexit before that, uh, till that time, Brexit should be done. Means European Union and Britain's you know, di divorce as such as it, as it is called. Because if that does not happen, then there will be a no deal Brexit. Means as deadline approaches, Britain is out of European Union without a deal. And whatever deal is finalized by British parliamentarians has to be approved by European Union too. It, it should be acceptable on both sides. Only then it's an agreement, a deal on future relations between Britain and European Union post the exit. So that is you know, discussed here. The date is April 12th. So by April 12th, if no deal is finalized between the two, then it will be a no deal Brexit. Means it is called Brexit, Britain crashing out of European Union. Then this is PM speech didn't violate code. So this is the election commission. We had seen how a committee was set up to look into whether the prime minister's address violated the model code of conduct. And now election commission says that no, it did not. Then next is Kartarpur talks only in Pakistan, only if Pakistan concedes demands. So the next round of discussion of Kartarpur corridor, it is said, will be held only if Pakistan responds to India's Earlier demands that the number of visitors not be capped, there be no fee imposed on pilgrims and a senior government as such, according to a senior government official. And this is JNU sedition case, court summons DCP. So this is regarding the Jawaharlal Nehru University Students Union leader, Students Union President, Kanhaya Kumar and others, they were charged, cheated for the offense of sedition. So now Delhi court is has summoned the deputy commissioner of police in the matter for explaining why this was done without prosecution sanction. Because prior sanctions required for prosecution that was not taken. Then here you have China denies it is shielding Masood Azhar. So when USA said that uh, China is actually pro uh, supporting or you know, protecting Masood Azhar by putting a technical hold on the resolution, China responded saying by that well, by that definition, then the country which puts the maximum technical holds is the maximum supporter or uh, one that holds shelters terrorists the most. So that's of course is USA itself. That is the statement exchange which happened. And below you have government sets up a group to monitor terror sympathizers. So this will you know is, will look into all registered cases that relate to terror financing and terror related activities. So this is a group which will be formed. So there are hardcore sympathizers among government employees, it is said, including teachers who are providing covert or overt support to terror-related activities. So that's why Ministry of Home Affairs has formed a terror monitoring group, TMG. On page 5, you have debris from anti-satellite test to disintegrate in 45 days, official. So USA has confirmed that the 270 pieces uh, which have been uh, formed because of the satellite being destroyed by India's anti-satellite test. 
so this these pieces don't pose threat to international space station and india has claimed that they would disintegrate in 45 days so this you can see it was in 2007 when china had also conducted a test 3000 pieces of debris were found 606 uh, have disintegrated rest are still in orbit it's been 12 years now and this was also a satellite in an orbit of 800 kilometers the satellite which we have uh, we have launched, uh, which which we have destroyed, that is Microsat R, was in a low Earth orbit of 300 kilometers. Then, then below you have Pakistan airspace closure costs Air India dearly. So airline, that is Air India, loses between five crore and seven crore daily due to the Middle East detour, because it the Pakistan airspace is closed for India so it has been a concern here you can see that uh, the flights to US and Europe are forced to take a detour through Middle East so that's uh, costing Air India dear on the editorial page the first editorial is a reality check so this is regarding a move in United Secu Nations Security Council to designate Azhar as an international terrorist. So, it is said this move is welcome, but India must continue to engage with China. So, this, this was US initiative taken. So, a reality check is important. This is what is being spoken of in this editorial. The second editorial, a stop sign. So, this is regarding carbon emissions, that we must raise our emission on reduction in carbon emissions. So, we have seen our carbon emissions have actually increased while China, USA have reduced carbon emissions. Then the lead article is Pathways to an Income Guarantee. So, it is said there is a compelling case for spending 3.6 lakh crore on the poor. So, that they can, their status can be raised. This is regarding the NYAI, that is Nutium I Yojana, which is, but this is very important that such steps are taken, but it must be done carefully. Then this is the irrelevance of secularism. So it says the formula, the formula that the state must remain equidistant from all religions is proving to be unworkable. So secularism is becoming unworkable is what the article is trying to say. Then on Saturdays on the opet page you have a ground zero coverage and today the coverage is on the rumble beneath their feet. So this is regarding Maharashtra's Palghar district which has experienced thousands of small quakes since November 2018. So there are fears of a larger one. So the district, you know, as I said, fortifying the district for such an event is going to be a challenge. And then on page 8 you have India fears misuse of Kartarpur corridor. So India has flagged the role of anti-India elements which uh, you know, can enter into this uh, uh, through this Kartarpur corridor as such. Fresh concerns about safety and security of pilgrims and misuse of the corridor for anti-India activities have been raised. On the international page, you have Theresa May to press on with talks on Brexit deal. So, Prime Minister's political spokesperson has said that the smaller margin of defeat now shows that things are moving in the right direction. So, the talks will continue on Brexit deal now. Then, and below you have 6 lakh 13,000 older Japanese live in isolation. So it is said until recently hikikomori was thought to be an issue of it affecting only the young. But now it has been seen more than 6 lakh Japanese people over the age of 40 are living in complete isolation from society. They stay at home for more than 6 months without social interaction. So it is so widespread in Japan that it even has a name for this. It is called hikikomori, means someone who does not go to school or work for six months and does not interact with anyone outside his family during that time. Then on business page, you have center to borrow 7.1 lakh crore in financial year 2020. So this is Economic Affairs Secretary Subhash Chandra Garg, which has announced that higher borrowing will be done due to repayment program. It is said center will stick to its financial year 2019 fiscal deficit target of 3.4%. So 
So this is the statement being made here. On the last page you have Russia develops washing machine for space. So this is the washing machine which proposes to use carbon dioxide for cleaning. And below you have five varieties of Indian coffee awarded GI. GI is Geographical Indication Certificate. And lastly you have uh, one, two monuments. Students persist with climate strike. So this is running thousands of students skipping school to take to the streets. And this is in German capital Berlin. So there is a growing worldwide youth movement urging governments to take faster action against climate change. So this has been started by Swedish teenager Greta Thunberg who has been in news, who has inspired the protest worldwide. And the last news below is, scientists identify genetic mutation in a woman who feels no pain. So the discovery here could help in finding new anesthesia methods now. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia.com. And in the current affairs section here, you can you know, download the current affairs PDFs. Also, the current affairs video lectures are also there. So, here you can see the PDF can be freely downloaded. And the detailed current affairs video lectures are also uploaded. So, those that is a paid course, the details of which are provided here. Thank you.